You ready to eat? Because it is the a Peru kitchen gadget. We're going to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, That's some cool, delicious recipes to keep you cool and cool. Al Maldonado from Delitos Express yeah. joins us. We have to dance first, right? Oh, all right. Are you ready? You can cue the music for us. I'm going to dance with rubber gloves on. You're going to dance with, rub with rubber gloves on? I don't know why. Okay. Why not? Are you yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Five, six, seven, eight. I thought we were doing the, the sprinkler thing first. Oh. This is that lawnmower that doesn't start on the first pull. These so. are moves I don't know. <laughs> hide, the, hide, the, hide the head. Wait, what? Hide, what? You gotta hide the head. You gotta be careful. You gotta pan a hot oil. I know. Yeah. So. I was like, turn to you to see if you're actually gonna do it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Put on my back it's out. It's like so. sudden dance off happening here. All right. We have got classic Peruvian dishes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we got the best ceviche in the world. Okay. And I mean, you're not just saying that. I'm not just saying it's because I'm Peruvian. It's just because go ahead and Google it, and the ceviche, uh, the ceviche Peruvian that will come on top of the pick. It is the classic way yes. to make it. Now, yes. what, do you, what do we want to start with first? And we also have this potato dish. Then as we well, have which the looks uh, papa rellena, which is a stuffed potato. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very simple to do, and a uh, fast day, we, you, you know, you looking for something to do really quick. You got some leftovers. Bang, you can knock that out in about Perfect. 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You get going that. on that. I'm going to start on the ceviche, and I'm okay. just going to cut it up into small, nice little bite-sized hunks, correct? Okay. Got a little flour on my gloves here. Okay. Yeah. And so you now... Get some uh, uh, potato. The potato has already been boiled and peeled. It's a gold potato, and you have to use this riser to... Uh, to actually mash the potato. Another great kitchen gadget to have. More. And you said you have Little to more. use a gold potato. You can't just use a regular yes. Idaho it's baker more, or something like starch, that. Uh, okay. It's more starch. starch from the two. These gloves are a little big. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to make it into yeah. a circle, right? Right. And just and make it just, fairly. We're going to put Is a little bit. Is this size bit. okay? Yeah. Okay. To start with, yeah. There we go. We're going to put a little bit of the filling. Now, okay. keep in mind, the uh -huh. filling could be anything. Like right now, we're doing picadillo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, someday you might have some shrimp or saute shrimp or uh, anything that you want to fill it with. I mean, we were talking about it. You could do uh, leftover taco meat if you wanted to. We even started talking yeah. about putting scrambled eggs and bacon in there if you wanted. Exactly. You you know you can do uh, uh, carne guisada if you want. Do a uh, inside out uh, burger roll it and over. put some ground beef and some cheese in there. Just roll okay. it over. Thank you. Rolling it. Rolling it. Roll it. Roll it. I fold it. Fold it. it. Keep sticking to my. Yours doesn't look as good as his. I know. I'm, I'm not passing judgment here. So. Okay. There we go. All right. To the closing We've point. It in. And okay. Then, and then the I'm going to. There we go. Close there it up. We go. There we go. A little sticky. Okay. okay. All over my hands. <laughs> all over the gloves. Okay. So now we have the potato. And you want it kind of shaped like a little football? Like a little tiny football. Okay. 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 Then you're gonna throw it on the flour. And that'll help it brown a little bit better in the, uh, and in will, the oil? It will and bond. You, you cook it in what? Vegetable oil, olive oil, butter? I'll, I'll do olive oil. Olive oil? Okay. Yeah. And pop that in there. Do a little more shape on that. And mm -hmm. here we go. And that's right. going to go for a bit. Okay. And yeah. I cut up the, uh, the fish. And you said you just cut, a nice white fish. cut the fish. Put some salt in there. A little bit of salt. Now you're going to be flavoring the fish. And a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. Right now we're using a Peruvian pepper. It's called uh, ají limo. But we're also going to do some jalapenos. Okay, because, just one or two uh, of them? We're in Texas. Okay. Yeah, we like it with a little, little kick. All right. Yeah, just salt and pepper. No, just, just salt and the jalapenos. And the jalapenos, okay. And let it be there. But you said the secret is then the sauce that you put on there. Okay, the secret to cure the fish and to cook the fish mm -hmm. is all these all the ingredients that we want to put in this. Okay. Container. This is... Uh, uh, celery leaves. Cer celery leaves. Okay. Okay. That's a garlic clove. Oh, garlic. We're gonna right. crush it a little bit. Throw it in there. We got some a little more chilies in there. A couple of pieces of onion. And if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you just take another, take another bottle and you said just start mushing all this stuff yeah, up. And you're gonna put the juice in there. Okay, and this is lime juice? This is jam juice. And okay. some leftover pieces of fish. Oh, okay. See, I got a couple of leftover pieces of fish. And this is called tiger milk? Yeah, it's crunch it. 
Cranchier good. This is a tiger mint. It's a, it's, it's aphrodisiac. So oh. ceviche is an aphrodisiac. Oh. Yeah, it is aphrodisiac. Yeah. This is okay. a Friday, Saturday I'll be back. night dish okay. It goes into the category of aphrodisiac. Everybody li loves the uh, tiger meal, which is leche de tigre. So this oh. goes over the fish once no. it's all mushed together. No. We oh. To oh, we strain it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we, we strain, strain it out. Uh-oh. My bad. Okay. Strain so. all the big pieces first. <laughs> So we're when fixing you think, it. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. I was thinking about the ceviche being the aphrodisiac. So. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Now, um, now, Peruvian ceviche is the most authentic, right? And the best? Yes. And it's is that been, a fact? It is a fact. <laughs> you, you can go anywhere, and people always ask me, how you make your Peruvian ceviche? Just now smash, smash a little more. Smash a little more. Okay. Real hard. And that takes about how make long? Make all those flavors to marry together. How long to uh, cook the, the fish with the... Uh, 15 minutes. About 15, and that's it? Yeah. Okay. And that, see, that's the, that's the, that's the magic. Okay. This is magic is going to make the ceviche. So then and we strain it, strain it out. Right. Because okay. you, all those flavors from those ingredients all right. created a juice that's going to be the, that it's going to take you straight to heaven. And the uh, potato is cooking for about how long? And it's just a matter of the, warming it up, yeah, right? It, and getting it just, nice and brown on the side? Yeah, a little brown. Okay. Okay, so that's very be simple. Bit. Yeah. Okay, and you have two locations, of course, right? Well, right now we uh, we have a food truck in Bernie mm -hmm. that we only sell tamales. Mm -hmm. We believe tamales can be eaten all year round. You don't <laughs> have to. You don't have to worry about uh, wait until Christmas time. Mm. And we have our location in Hubner and Bobcat Corner. Okay. Well, we sell our, our regular menu. For more information we'll on, a lot of catering, yeah. on Chilitos Express, head over to salive.com. .com, .com. .com, the lesser-known website. Exactly. <laughs> and click on the Ask on SA Live tab, and we have provided a link on there. 